Hello everybody. I was asked in one of the comments to model a McDonald's ice cream. So let's do that. I start with a sphere with 16 sides and 12 segments and control left click make it 30 by 30 millimeters in all the dimensions and put it in the middle. Go out of sub D mode and in polygon mode select the top and delete it and select the bottom three rows and delete those as well. Now I think we can extend the top edge a bit. So set key and bring it to about here. Then select the bottom, set key again and bring it down maybe minus 40 millimeters. Good. And center everything again here in the middle. Next I thicken this. Polygon thicken by minus one millimeter. We don't need these here. So delete, we won't see them. And then I go to a new mesh. Front view. And select the curve tool. F11, snap to geometry, mode vertex and Put the curve in from here to here and shift click from here to here. Now shift C and I cut through here in the middle. Select these two vertices and merge them together. Now we can go to a duplicate radial array count of 60, 32 action center origin and click in the viewport in vertex mode i select the top vertices control p to make a closed loop select the bottom vertices control p and make another closed loop then in the mesh properties i click render curves and make this 0.6 millimeters. We can always adjust this later. Now let's go back to our other mesh and then in edge mode I select this edge and these edges and B for bevel with a round level of 1 and bevel this out by maybe 0.5 millimeters, something like this. Um, if I subdivide this, then it shrinks. You see it when you look at the background mesh. So we have to enlarge this a bit, R key by about a hundred and four percent. I tried this before. And then in this mesh here we have to select the middle vertices, these here, R key again. I make these about a hundred and two percent to compensate for the fact that we are going diagonally along a bent surface. So this is going to be the cup for our ice cream. So let's give this a material. Select everything M and call it cup. Now let's do the eyes itself. So I go to 
a new mesh again and in top view I bring out a cone with eight sides, four segments. This could be other numbers for sure, I just do it this way. So control left click, bring it out. So it is a bit bigger than the outside of our cup and center it in X and Z. Front view, W key, top here, A key, and um, top view again. Then I go to deform, twist, but the fall off must also be on the Y and twist this by minus 120. Yeah, why not? Front view again. Now I select two edges in here. Up arrow key, L for loop. And before I continue, I want to shift C, cut through the top here, maybe a bit further down, like so, and delete this. Back to edge mode. Now we can expand this to the top and B for bevel. No, no, too early. We need a fall-off linear from here to here and linear, yes. Now we can do the bevel, otherwise we would have uh, crossed the edges on top here. So bevel this till it is about like this, then we can unfortunately not directly convert this selection to uh, polygons. It would uh, select everything. This is a bug in Modo 701, but what we can do is we can first go to uh, convert to vertices and now we can convert it to polygons. Good. Top view again. R key. Let's scale this out to about so. Yes, okay, good. Then I select these edges and these edges. Top view again, no, bevel and bevel it to about here. Then I select these two edges and top view R key and bring them out like so. And this middle one, R key, bring it out also a bit. For the time being, I call this an ice cream, like so. Which has uh, one important feature missing up here. So P for polygon, polygon mode and make it spiky. Then vertex mode, select this middle vertex here, W key and bring it up to about here. Then shift C, cut through here, maybe easier, and through here. 
then select these polygons and go to deform, bend, but to here and bend this down. So it looks like a real ice cream. Okay, next we put it into uh, the cup. So Z key again, make it a bit smaller. Z key again. Now, first I go to Shift F5 and run the perfect circle script from Seneca Menar. Uh, I put the link to this his script page in the description, so you can download the script if you don't have it already. It's very useful. So make it smaller here on the it's too small. And Z key again. Like about so. Maybe a bit smaller here also. Like so. Good. Now we need to give all these things uh, some material. So I select this is mesh 3. I select 2 here, 2 here. L key and call this uh, red. Height, M key again, call this white. On height, now we can uh, put in a plane. So shift click this symbol, W key, and bring it down to here, M key again, call it plane, and R key, make it a lot bigger, a hundred times, so ten, one, two, three, and now we can go to the render tab and find out what we have got. First, I make the render window a square, 888, and the, the plain material, I want to have something bluish, like this, yes, and a bit of reflection, 25%, 50 Fresnel. And then <clears throat> the white material I leave as it is, but with 100% specularity. The red material I want to make red, of course. Ah, wrong one. Yes, something like this, and also a hundred percent specularity. And then the cup material, which is some kind of biscuit, something like 
yeah, like this, but with zero specularity. It is biscuit, which does not reflect. And then go to a nice environment. This one, which should be reflected on the bottom plane also. Yeah, looks good. Maybe a bit closer here. And then render it out. So here is our ice cream. I hope uh, you liked it. It looks uh, pretty cool, I think. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.